Should the Vikings sit or start those damn starters on Sunday? All right, welcome back to the Mar and Lepiga show. I'm Mar with Lepiga. Yes, we're talking. Should the Vikings rest the starters and just get to the playoffs, or should they go for the win and play those starters all damn game? Yeah, before we hop into that too much, be sure to subscribe to the channel. Subscriptions have been coming in hot and heavy. Thank you for everybody who's been clicking that button lately. Keep on clicking, and also remember to grab yourself a frothy Lift Bridge brew from either your liquor store or, you know, go there in Stillwater. Check it out. It's awesome. Great. Maybe setup. they're already in their fridge. They just got to grab it. Maybe they are. So I think really with this one, there's uh, four steps. This we can make the case for, the case against, what we we want them to do, and what we think they will do. So let's just start. What? Why would they play the starters? Why would they? I mean, you got to look at whether you like it or not. I mean, it sounds like Kevin O'Connell would still enjoy that number two seed, the potential of having two home games. So the number two seed's still in play. So that is a big boy. What do you got? Yeah, I mean, that's the big one. But also, I think just to get the bad taste of the last week out of your mouth, I think you want to go into the playoffs on a winning note, on a positive note, playing well. Definitely not their best game last week in Green Bay. A horrible showing, especially for the offense struggling all over the place. Special teams blunder there. I, uh, You know, I can see them wanting to get that out of their mouths as the playoffs approach. All right. Uh, yes, they need to get that out of their mouths before it starts. I'll never uh, say that again. Like shit. But the other side of it is, I mean, our offensive line is still, I mean, they're like a whole damn whole new unit. They got to get in a little bit of rhythm too, a little bit of sync. So uh, that wouldn't be a horrible thing. Maybe give Chris Reed a little more action, old Udo. Um, and it's the Bears. We don't want to lose to the Bears. And I can see Kevin O'Connell being the type of coach that's like, I'm not laying down. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not sitting these guys. Well, and the fact that there's still something to play for, what kind of message does that send to your team, to your fans? Like, you know what? We're just going to relax and be fine with the number three seed. I just don't think the team's built this way. I don't think that's something he wants to, uh, the vibe he wants to send out to the fans. All right, cons. What are the negatives? It's the health of this team. You look at what happened last week. You lose Brian O'Neill. You lose Austin Schlotman. Who knew Austin Schlotman would be such a key part of this team? But oh, you also got... <laughs> oh, he's been... I mean, he was key that game. He when he went out... The whole offense just it was it was basically useless for about three drives. So finally, Chris Reed settled settled in a little bit. Uh, you don't want any more injuries. You don't want Justin Jefferson getting hurt. You don't want Dalvin Cook getting hurt. You don't want Kirk Cousins getting hurt. If that, any of those guys get hurt, your playoffs are over. Ah, uh, yeah. I mean, that's the easiest ones. And and also, I mean, on the same lines of getting hurt, the Bears' field conditions always suck ass, uh, making it even more possible to get injured. Uh, oh, wait, I got one more else. Oh, and just the other thing. If we were to sit our starters and then horribly lose in round one of the playoffs, then we got to hear, should they have played the starters? You know, blah, blah, blah. The momentum was lost. They should have played the starters. That just cancels all that out. Mm -hmm. Play the starters. You'll probably have to play them for a quarter. The Bears suck. They're on a nine-game well, losing streak. And we just found out today, just hours ago, that Nathan Peterman will be starting at quarterback for the Bears. Justin Fields has a couple always. He well, will like not Nathan be playing. Peter Skin. Yeah, so, I mean, you could actually probably start Nick Mullins and still probably win this game. Uh, so, what would you do? It sounds like you already answered that. You would play the starters? I Well, here's what I think they will do. I think they're going to play the starters, and uh, in their perfect world, they get up on them and then bring in the bring in the relief. They don't. I, I don't think they want to play in the whole game, but they're going to go for the win and see what happens. If it's a close game, it'll be very interesting to see what they do. But I, I think they will play the starters. And I think they should play the starters. Go out swinging. We cannot, we cannot have that Packers be the last thing in their minds. No, they can't. But I also think they'll be scoreboard watching. Well, if that San Francisco Arizona game gets out of hand, I mean, do they start pulling them at that point? Because there's really nothing to play for at that moment. But I agree. I think this is like the old third preseason game back in the day when you had that third preseason game. You had four, and the third one was always the dress rehearsal. You played the half. I think the starters play at least a half in this one, if not more. Uh, Again, O'Connell, everything he said this week makes it sound like uh, he's planning on playing the starters. He he kind of shied away from any real answer there, which makes me think he's planning that way and leaning that way. Uh, so what would you do if if one bar was the head coach of this team? Well, the Niners do play after us. They play at the 3 o'clock. So oh, do they play 3? They, they, they play later. So it's all on us. It's all it's all on us what they do. And what, what would I do? Yeah, I, I would play the starters um, in, until I hopefully – the Bears, like I said, nine-game losing streak, Nate playing Nathan Peterskin. Uh, we should be up on them. We should be up on them. 
early. I know that's a big should considering this Vikings team likes to play down to their level, but uh, I would just play it by ear. I mean, in a perfect world, I've said it in the last couple of shows, I've completely changed my tune based off of who we get to play. I want the three seed. I want the three seed, and I think the Bears are laying down. They yep. still potentially could get the number one pick. If they win this game, they could possibly go all the way down to four. They want to lose this game more than anything. Yeah, Bears got nothing to play for, which, again, I mean, knowing that, you could potentially rest the starters and still get the win. Uh, I Honestly, before I found Nathan Peterman uh, was playing quarterback, I was going to say uh, rest him. But, you know, I think you destroy him, like you said, get up early, get a big lead, and then pull him. So make sure the game's in hand. Bears had nothing to play for. They got their back with quarterback. Everything points to Vikings uh, coming out and, you know, having the momentum and the and the reason to win. So play them, get it, then get them out of there. I could see I could see a little bit of a mixture between the two. I mean, I, I don't expect to see Justin Jefferson out there. I could see Jalen Naylor. I could see yeah. Rager out there. And then the same thing on the defense. Darius Smith really has no right to be out there. But I, I think there will be more starters and not. But I think those big boys uh, will not be playing. Then, you know, I do. I, I think Jefferson also is someone, a you know, prideful player. He wants to get that bad game. Uh, out of people's minds so but i mean he still has a shot to get the record was he 215 away if the bears are truly laying down maybe he just has a huge game and it goes up yeah then in the f- last play of the f- game he tears both acls and my tv is out in the yard uh, so my pants would be out there too let us know what you're gonna do what would you do what do you think they're gonna do and uh, i don't know anything what are you having for lunch Remember this, bees enjoy alcohol and, and can consume the human equivalent of 10 liters of wine in one serving. And yes, bees get drunk. Fuck 